So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Hi, I'm Michael. Take a seat and I'll tell you about Century Spice Road by Plan B Games. A game where each player takes control of a caravan of traders and they use their merchants to trade spices in order to gain points. The way this works is that on your turn you can perform one of four actions. Either play a card from your hand that will either gain you spices, allow you to upgrade spices, or allowed you to trade specific spices to gain other spices. The other choice of action you have is to acquire a new merchant. Now this is free if it's the first card in the row or you can give up spices in order to take a later card that you want more. These are added straight to your hand and then you can use them from your next turn. Next you can rest. Why would you rest? Well because you've exhausted all of your merchants, but you might actually not have exhausted all your merchants and just choose to rest anyway, because what happens is all your played merchants you take back into your hand. It doesn't matter if you still have some there. Then the final action you can do is, once you've done all this trading and resting and gathered up your spices, you can use them to claim points cards, and the game will end once someone has five points cards. So, what do I think of the game? Well. Let's start with the art. I think the art is actually quite lovely. I think the scenes on all the cards are very nice. It's kind of a shame that there isn't that much different art on the actual merchant cards. A lot of that art is repeated. Um, but I do really enjoy the scenes, especially on the caravan cards. It all just feels very thematic, very fitting for the game. The actual graphic design on the cards, with regards to being able to see clearly it's this cube or that cube, is very good. As long as you're not colourblind. See, I don't have this problem, but I know from other people out there that that is a big problem with this game. And that's kind of a shame. Um, solutions to that. You could mark the cubes and cards to make it clearer. I think they should have had symbology for the different colours of cubes, um, potentially different shaped pieces. That would have solved the problem. It's a shame that as a big publisher they haven't considered doing this. I, I say as a big publisher, as what we expect to be a big publisher. This is their first game, but they've come from <laughs> other stock if you will from big publisher stock you know they've sold their company they've started a new one we expect a lot from this and it's kind of a shame that they haven't taken into account what is apparently one in ten people um, so yeah there's that as a problem then let's move on to components now components this game is incredibly overproduced you have metal coins that you're not even actually using as coins they're literally just points tokens that you get a few of each game the cards themselves are lovely large tarot cards very good quality you've got these plastic bowls that are a nice touch it's especially nice that they fit nicely in the box and stored in the box so you can just keep them there and just quickly set up and take down this game but you don't actually need them. That's the problem with the metal coins and the bowls. You don't need them. They're just adding to the cost, which, frankly, I don't think the game is overpriced. I think it's a good price. So I'm quite happy to pay that little extra that they've included in that price in order to have the higher component quality. What I will say is the cubes, although most part they are nice, some of them are a bit deformed. Now, I don't know about other people's copies, but I've seen quite a few of mine you know they're just not perfect cubes basically for some of them and I don't know as I say whether that's going to be systematic throughout um, I imagine if you cared a lot you could complain and they'd probably replace them however you know they serve the purpose I'm happily fine with them but that's my choice with regards to components so what else is there to talk about well, this is an incredibly light, incredibly simple game that will work well as a gateway game, but it also has a lot of subtle depth to it that will work well for more experienced gamers. Because the nature of this game is that it is engine building. The whole idea is you have to be claiming the cards that work well for your engine, and it makes sense to pay out spices in order to be able to do that. If you need a card that will allow you to generate something that you can then use for one of your other cards, etc., 
that's how this game works and that subtlety might be lost on newer gamers but they'll still enjoy the process of claiming the cards and going through the motions in order to build up their spices and claim the points cards and that's the thing this is so simple that anyone can play it that's what makes this a perfect gateway game there's literally just four things you can do each turn and yes it can be a slightly prone to analysis of what well, what do i do then for newer gamers but the actual amount of choice you, you can either aim at a points card so you need to do things to aim towards that you're not going to have that many cards in hand you're not going to have that many cards you can actually acquire on your turn so the choices are reasonably limited which helps keep the game flowing smoothly now with regard to the scaling i think the game does work well at all the different player numbers but is so far to my opinion best with four and there's a specific reason for that and that's because they haven't scaled these markets so you've always got five cards available to be buying point cards wise and you've always got the six available with regards to actions with those merchants and what this means is that at lower player numbers you move very slowly through these and they move down so if there's one you want it can be quite hard to get to it and it can take a while and if you kind of putting a lot on there you're just giving to your one opponent so that kind of doesn't work so well four seems to be the best kind of balance for the speed at which these flow through now with two players for example you can take a points card and you can see your opponent is only going to be able to go after one or two of the others and you can plan ahead what you're going to be able to do with four players and the points cards usually once you start getting to the point of buying points cards it's one or two a turn are going and it gives a nice element of anticipating when players are going to buy cards and what cards they're going to buy and there's also a matter of like all right well i'll set up for this card and then once they've bought and they've bought and it's moved down to the gold coin i can then get the gold coin and you don't get a feel of that so much in the lower player numbers and with five it becomes a bit too crowded and things changing too much in those markets so what else is there to talk about we've done scaling we've done complexity luck these strategy let's see how strategic is this game well it's actually very strategic the luck is with regards to these cards coming out but especially at lower player numbers you've got quite a while of seeing those cards are coming and being able to plan and forward think towards getting those cards if you want to it's rarely a case of one player takes their turn and oh look the the amazing cards have just come out for them there's no having a deck of cards that you're shuffling through and you only have a certain option to play each turn you choose from your entire hand of cards exactly what you're going to want to do so that means that this is a very strategic game but still simple and light enough for new gamers to play so that is century spice road by plan b games i do hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful if you have please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel as well as subscribing and sharing and as always thanks for watching and bye for now